help you, sir? Hi, lad. Scotch. Neat. Here you go, sir. Thank you. What in blazes is this? Didn't you order scotch? Laddie, I was drinking scotch a hundred years before you were born, and I can tell you that whatever this is, it is definitely not scotch. This drink, I like it. I like it. I know, it's great, right? Another! <laughs> Hello again, Whiskey Whippers and Spirit Sippers. One one here again, and uh, I was just having a little drink tonight, and I poured some Red Breast 12, and I was like, you know what? I haven't actually done a single review of this. I did have it in uh, Best uh, Whiskeys for Beginners, but I haven't actually done just a single review, and this bottle's about done, and so tonight we are going to get at it. Red Breast 12, Irish Whiskey. Mm. That sounds good. This is a lot of people consider this like the quintessential or like the Irish whiskey. I mean, you think Irish whiskey, um, for me anyway, I always think of Jameson or Redbreast. They seem to be like the two big ones. Um, Redbreast 12. This one, actually, I'm glad that I'm kind of waiting to review it now. This one's actually almost done. And as you can see, I already did the first pour, so it's already been sitting 12 minutes. It's actually been sitting longer than that. We don't have to wait too much more. But yeah, as you can see, this bottle, I don't know if you can see that in there. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, this bottle's almost gone. And the one thing I've noticed with this one and with the green spot is that these Irish whiskeys, you don't want <laughs> you don't want them sitting like with just the heels left too long because it seems like they start to turn a little bit, get a little more alcoholic. Um, they lose the smell a little bit. The green spot is really kind of losing its smell. And this one to a little bit but the funny thing about this is when I first opened this I didn't really love it um, it was too prickly I didn't it just wasn't it wasn't for me I thought it was gonna be a little smoother it smelled amazing it had all those Irish characteristics but it was just a little too prickly on the taste now as it's been going down and it's actually been sitting for about six eight months it's so, it's a whole different whiskey it's absolutely amazing so I'm kind of glad I'm doing this one a little bit later but on the nose it's almost weird. It's almost like uh, if you've ever eaten cheese and apples together. I almost get that kind of smell. I mean, you definitely get that buttery, biscuity smell. You can definitely tell it's Irish. I mean, instantly you get that Irish smell. But, but definite fruits. And like I say, it might be because it's um, getting so low to the end and so close to the end that it might be getting a little bit of that funk on it. But it's definitely, definitely Irish whiskey. It smells amazing. Let's see how it tastes. I mean, there is zero burn. You get a little bit of the Kentucky hug on the way back up, but no burn in the mouth, no burn on the way down. Then, you know, it kind of, you feel it, like I said, the Kentucky hug on the way back up, but just smooth, buttery, easy. A little bit of a citrus taste. Um, these are finished off in oak casks. So, I mean, they're, uh, <laughs> if it's not confusing enough, but they're triple distilled and single pot stills. So they're run through three times. They're triple distilled uh, in single copper pot stills. So that's what kind of gives it that distinct Irish flavor taste. Just smooth, easy, almost like a sugary, almost like a sugary sweetness. But yeah, cheese and apple. <laughs> that's what just comes to mind is cheese and apples on this one. Like a good cheese and nice crisp apples, sweet crisp apples. Absolutely delicious is what it is and like I said it's lost that prickly like when I first tasted it, it was so prickly on the taste and now it's just smoothed out and that nice and easy see how it tastes with a little water in it just put a drop in there see if we can open it up at all this one's uh, 40 APV, 80 proof, so a little bit lighter than the other ones, certainly a lot lighter than that cast strength. That cast strength is the truth. <laughs> that is certainly one of my favorite all-time whiskeys. That is amazing. Just delicious, smooth. But we're talking about the 12, not the 12 cast strength. And this one is very smooth as well, just without that big kick in the chest. <laughs> Boy, yeah, the water actually opened this one up a little bit. Really kind of brought out some of that citrus, flowery, florals and sweetness. Just sugars and honey. 
like honey and lemon. See if it changes the taste at all. Prost. Boy, it took away, I mean, there's no Kentucky hug left, but it did, it gave it a really creamy, like a really creamy, smooth texture feel like. Just like a vanilla cream, like a vanilla buttercream. Just really smooth and easy. All right, well, you know the third trial. All right, well, we didn't get our first pour, so at least we get our pour over ice. Yeah, maybe it's because it's so low, but not too much of a cork pop in this one. Let's get a pour. Oh, not too much left in this one. Maybe two more. Not too much left. It's gonna. I'm gonna have to buy another one by the time I get the 15 to do the. Uh, Whole red breast family uh, taste test. See how they all rate against each other, one after the other. Oh, and the ice right get right away, just sweetness starts kicking up. A lot of times you put the ice in it and it gets kind of that tang, that that lemon tang uh, tartness smell. Not with this, it's sweeter. It's making it sweeter. I mean, like cotton candy sweeter. <laughs> oh yeah, just vanilla buttercream. Super like powdery donuts and cotton candy sweetness. Mmm, maybe a little caramel apple. Instead of cotton candy, more of like a caramel apple. Oh, let's get to tasting it. Go by. It's not as sweet on the taste. Um, that ice kind of, usually that smell that it has, that kind of bitter tang tartness, it's like that on the flavor. It's like that on the tongue. No burn whatsoever. Um, it kills a lot of the flavor actually. It smells great with ice, but I wouldn't, I don't suggest drinking this one over ice. This is, this one's neater maybe with just a drop of water in it all day. It's almost like you can taste that oak barrel a little bit with the ice on it. As usual, the ice kind of brings out those oak flavors, those oak tannins. Kind of get a bit of that oak cask flavoring in there. But yeah, all in all, if you're a beginner, I mean, this is a great place to start. It can get a little pricey. Um, I mean, it can be anywhere from, I've seen Costco for like 45. I'm not sure if that was out the door or pre-tax, but one way or the other, that was one of the, that was the best price I've ever seen, but get it then or <laughs> act quick or don't get it at all. And I've seen it all the way up to like $75. So this one's all over the place depending on where you live, but I highly suggest it. it like I said, it's going to be a little like new and prickly tasting right out of the gate, but you know, kill a couple drinks out of it, let the neck go, and then let it sit, um, let it just forget about it for about a month. I know that's not easy to do, but if you can just forget it about it, forget about it for about a month or two and come back, it's a whole new experience and I think twice as pleasurable. So. I like this one. I'm glad I waited uh, towards the end to actually review this one because, like I said, it is night and day from where it started. And it always had a great smell, and it doesn't even have, like, it has lost a little bit of the smell, but the taste has gotten so much smoother and better. So I guess you sacrifice a little bit and gain a little bit, but, I mean, if I'm going to sacrifice anything, I guess let it be the smell for the taste. So <clears throat> really like this one and uh, highly suggest it. Scale uh, 1 out of 10. I think we have to give this one, it's right there between an eight and an eight and a half. I think I give this one an eight. I wish it was a little bit higher ABV. If the ABV was a little bit higher, bring up that proof, I think this would be amazing and that's probably why the cast strength is one of my favorite all time whiskeys because that's basically what they did. They really amped it up in that one. So, um, yeah, so that one's amazing. This one's great. I think I'd, I'd give this one an eight out of 10. Good solid eight out of ten. Recommend it all day, especially if you're if you're a beginner, if you're immediate, if you're not a beginner, if you're an all-time pro and been drinking all your life, this is a great one. So, Red Breast Twelve all day long can't go wrong. This has been another review with one one. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of the week. And until we see you next time, cheers. How do you know this? That's what I do. I drink, and I know things.